Hi, my name is Josh Evelsizer, and today we're going to talk about how to navigate Chrome's settings and customization menu, and we'll touch on just a few of the things you might want to customize. Let's get started, shall we? All right. So, first, why use settings? There's many reasons. Here's two maybe whys. Uh, something's not working right, or you want to optimize Chrome to save you time. And there's going to be a lot more videos on that to come, obviously. Uh, so let's start at the three dots icon to get us there. You're like, Josh, what's the three dots icon? That's right up here in the right-hand corner. Customize and control Google Chrome. Uh, and that is AKA, also known as the options menu. So we're going to go ahead and open that. But not yet, because there's another way to get there if you want to use shortcuts. Well, what is that? Uh, here we go. Or <laughs> type the address or URL. Josh, what's a URL? Good question. That's a uniform resource locator. Or it's the web address up in the top of the Omnibox. Josh, what's an Omnibox? That is the web address bar that you can get to by pressing Control L. So it lights up there. That's our web address bar or address bar or Omnibox or URL location. Uh, many different names, but we'll call it the Omnibox here. And a quick note on the Omnibox with Google, this allows you to search. It's an Omnibox because it does more than one thing. You can type an address, you can search directly from the Omnibox and it'll take you to Google search results. And we'll talk about the search engine in settings a little bit later as well. Uh, but you can navigate to the address bar using Control L, just as I did. And then you could type the address for Chrome settings if you wanted to. I'm not going to do it here because it'll take us away from this screen. Uh, so I'll go ahead and click here. And then you could type the address, which looks just like this. Chrome colon forward slash forward slash settings. And that takes you to Chrome settings. And we're going to come back here in just a second. I want to make sure I don't forget anything. Uh, type Chrome settings, which is what we just did. Uh, and now we're going to jump into the settings overview what's in settings so you can see we landed at you and google which is where we're at here it's a quick launch page to manage everything that involves your interaction with google uh, sync in google services manage your google account customize your profile so on and so forth uh, today i'm just going to hit the highlights we'll come back and do a deep dive in other videos in the autofill section maybe your passwords are saved and you don't want them saved or vice versa payment methods that are stored, addresses that it autofills for you, and so much more. Privacy and security. Here's where you can handle all that stuff uh, for your privacy and security. Appearance, search engine. I talked about that before. So the Omnibox uses Google by default. Uh, or if you've clicked on malware, uh, you may have Yahoo giving you, giving you results or Bing. Uh, this is where you would come to remedy that, and we'll show you how to do that later as well. Uh, this tells you what your default browser is, but it's not where you manage it. And then, of course, uh, what your web pages look like on startup, which is also a tweak that I'm going to talk about. Uh, there is an advanced tab, which is right here, and there's some things that we'll talk about later. And here is where you can also manage your extensions. So if I click on this, you'll see all of my extensions that are enabled right here or installed, not necessarily enabled. Uh, and then about Chrome, which tells us all about the current version that we're using. These are all the things that you can tweak in Chrome settings. And like I said, I'll have plenty more videos breaking down all of the best uh, functionality that you may be missing. All right, settings overview. Did we cover everything? Let's find out. We sure did. These are all the things we talked about, and I'll be breaking these down again in additional videos. Um, what are the types of things we might want to change? Again, a lot. Uh, check out the next videos. I just didn't want this one to be too long. Um, all right, so if you found this helpful, please, uh, as always, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, and please leave questions in the comments. I will always, always answer those or even make a video about them if I'm able to. Please don't forget in the description, uh, you will find the outline of this video and all the ways that you can get in touch with me if you so desire. Take it easy.